Hello everyone. Today in front of us we have my Powerbox core transmitter. The Powerbox radios have two full redundant transmit and receive circuits. Um, basically this is for full-time redundancy of the RF link and we're going to look at verifying to see whether both transmit antennas are actually outputting a RF signal or not. So the easiest way to do this is by having some sort of detector and what I'm using today is actually a modified microwave oven leakage detector. Now these detectors operate on 2.45 gigs or roughly around there. So they're suitable for the 2.4 gig Wi-Fi band, which is what our RC systems use. And I have modified this detector because the standard detectors are actually not very sensitive uh, for their intended application. But in this application, I wanted a little bit more sensitivity, so I had to modify it internally. Um, it's actually quite easy to do. Um, I might put up some details if people are interested. But let's see how we go today in verifying the transmitter stages in my Powerbox core radio. So in this particular radio, if users are not familiar with it, the actual antennas are actually mounted inside this flat section across the top. The two antennas are actually 5.5 dBi antennas, so a panel antenna. They're not a normal omnidirectional antenna as, by, as used by most other systems. Um, these particular antennas provide 5.5 dBi gain to the user, which basically gives you an improved RF link budget. Anyway, enough of the geek talk. Let's have a look, see what's happening. So I do know physically, I have actually had a look inside here, there's actually a panel antenna in here, and there's one over on the left-hand side as well. So what I've done with my little meter here is I've actually adjusted it. So it gives me about roughly full-scale deflection when I'm over the uh, center of the antenna. And as you can see here, we've got full-scale reading at the moment. And if I move it over towards the left-hand side of the transmitter, we should see the needle start to drop a little bit. And that's because we're moving away from the uh, peak of the right-hand side antenna. So as we move, in effect, away from the right-hand side antenna towards the left-hand side antenna, we can see the signal dropping a little bit. And roughly in the middle, we have like a minimum. And if I keep progressing over to the left-hand side, if the left-hand side module is working, we should start to see the needle increase again. And sure enough, we get roughly full scar deflection. And I'll just go back the other way, just to show everyone again. We go towards the center, we have a null, or basically a lot less signal. And I'll move over towards the right-hand side antenna, and yeah, we basically get close to maximum. And I've calibrated this little meter so Basically, if ever there's, there's a fault in my radio, if I don't get sort of full-scale deflection, I do know that there's been a change in the actual transmitter modules. Okay, hopefully that's been informative. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching.